Hello friends. Uh, in this session, we will discuss about the custom hook. So we have a, a one more tutorial there, tutorial video for the custom hook, where we have created the demo and uh, and we have uh, so how to use to create the custom hooks. But uh, we have a project here, and uh, in here we are going to create some login forms. Password form, forget password, sign up, sign in. Okay, so this is a project, and where where we are doing the forms using the forms to create the login and sign up form, change password form. So you can see. So you can see that. Uh, so you can see that in we have a two form sign up and uh, change password. And here what we are doing, we are using the state, use state hook, and we are setting the variables data. And we have a common method set state to set in the value and to taking out the name as the key, and we are setting the value. And we have the fields here. First name, surname, email, password, date of birth, and like that. Okay. Okay. So this is the form, and we are using this one to capture the forms changes. Okay. And uh, similarly, we have another form like change password. So in this change password, we have also state to save our change the data, old, new, confirm password, and same we have here set to state change in the state. And uh, we are using this state way. Set state here, okay? And the set value state old, new, and confirm here. So here what we see, we see that we are using the same method repeating, okay? You can see that uh, we have same method here, same method here, and we have more uh, fill, uh, forms like sign in, email sign in, forget password. There are multiple forms where we are using the similar things, okay? So only the difference is the data of the forms, means how many controls are there inside your forms. So this only differs and everything is same. So for that, what we do, we will create a custom hook, okay? And inside your custom hook, these all logic will be inside your custom hook, and you will just call your hook, and you will just use that. You will have to pass only the this value, okay? Similarly, you will pass as a this value like the default you pass here, okay? So in place of use state, we will use the custom hook and we will pass the initial data okay in all forms so for that what we will do we should have a folder here called hooks okay and inside hook we will create a new hook called let's suppose use form state okay so we have a hook using this name so we will copy and we will create a hook for this one. Okay. So first of all, we need React and we need use state. Use state. Use state and from React. Okay. So now what we will do, we will create a hook named use form state, okay, and we will have this one. And here what we will get from user, we will the initial setup, okay, what is the initial data? If any nothing is passed, then we will have empty, okay? Now what we have to do is to use the hook called use state, okay? So we will call the huge state and we have a 
instant here name let's suppose we are naming like state state and state so that you can easily understand it and we will pass the coming parameter initial state here okay now what we will do we will return we will return state and set state in which we will have set our on set state and whatever the value will be passed inside it okay so you will be get this one okay now what we will do we will copy this one this method because this is generic for all so we will copy and we will do it here okay so one thing we have to change that it is the state change so it will be this one and we will call this one okay we will call this one using this name and this will be the data you can also write like this state but, but it is no need because we are using the same name okay so here is the hook and we have to export it export default and use format state so your hook is ready and we have to use it now okay so what we have to do we will go in sign up model and uh, we will first import it import this one from hooks is there hooks now we have to go outside then we have hooks and then use one step okay so our hook is here and we will we would like this we will get the sorry we will get the state and we have another set state okay we will call the hook and we will pass this initial data inside this okay and we will just comment all these things here okay we don't need this one okay so what you can see this is the method which we will use set state in every field okay and we are passing the element reference okay so this is the hook and we are using this one so let us check whether it is working or not okay see our value is validation uh, validating because we have already uh, used validation here so you can set some value so it is visible here and you can set password you can set okay so validation is also working and you can see in console we have controlled the value on the click of sign up okay so that's all you are getting means we are we have successfully created the hook custom hook and we have used it in sign up form okay so that means it is working similarly what will we do we will just use the same inside our another Forms so that we don't have to write these all codes necessarily. Okay, we have to import it here, and that's all we are done. Okay, because we are using state and state state in all fields, so we have a state old state and state state. Okay, that means our concept of creating hook is clear that we don't require now these all things repeating code codes in every pages okay
so we are done so we don't need to write much more code so i hope that you have, have a better understanding of the huge hook scenario in real time application because this is a real time project and uh, we are using there is no there was no hooks inside this project so we have just created first one first custom hook okay okay subscribe our channel for the coming uh, uh, more topics on react and uh, thanks for watching